out into the all-new dating game. And now, here's your host, Jeff McGregor. crazy crowd for money. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to the all-new dating game. Now, later on in the show, we're going to meet a couple that we sent off to Vienna, which is certainly a city rich in culture and art, and they're going to be back on a little bit later on, as I said, to tell us all about it. But as always on the dating game, what do we do at the top of the show? We play a game. Let's meet our bachelors. <laughs> Good, good. You all ready to play the game? All ready. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now, bachelor number one, what is your name? What do you do, sir? My name is Clark Chuka. I'm a full-time student, a musician, and I play the keyboards. Okay, now, what do, uh, what do women think when you tell them you're a musician? That's kind of spooky for a lot of girls. They're right? intrigued, but some worry because of the stereotype of sure. most musicians. Mm -hmm. They tend to date a lot of girls. I don't mess around. Mm -hmm. I plan on finding a girl that's right and sticking with her. Sticking with her. Okay, now, you want to stick with somebody all your life. What do you do to keep, uh, keep women interested, keep them from getting bored? I surprise them. How? Um, I try to show up with something different, like exotic flowers, or maybe like a different flower for every day of the week. That's a nice, that's a nice touch. And obviously the audience likes it. I find it personally a little expensive. So anyhow, best of luck to you, sir. I hope you do well. Bachelor number two, you are? I'm Teddy Luter, and I'm a real estate appraiser. Okay, Teddy, uh, as a real estate appraiser, you must appraise a lot of women. How would you describe Ms. Perfect? Uh, well, I suppose she'd have to have the looks of Jessica Lange with blonde hair. Mm -hmm and the personality of Wilma Flintstone. Um, Wilma, w Wilma gets angry at Fred sometimes sure. and, and keeps him in line, yeah. but she's also a really good friend. Yeah, she's got that neat necklace and that low-cut uh, skin, too. I like that. Now, okay, that's, that's Ms. Perfect, then. What are you, you going to do with her on the first date? Where are you going to take her? Uh, well, I'll pick her up and escort her to my car, and then I'll take her to a nice, fancy Italian restaurant. Sure. And then we'll go play miniature golf, because that's really fun, yeah. I thought and, we were uh, building toward an evening at the opera. You take her to play miniature golf? Yeah, sure. It's, it's a fun thing to do, yeah. I think. <laughs> and then I'll take her home and walk her to her door so uh -huh. that I know she's safe. And I usually don't kiss girls on the first date unless it's somebody really special. Best of luck to you, sir. Now, bachelor number three, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Uh, my name's Preston Lee, and I'm a business student. Okay, Preston. Now, where do you take a girl to get to know her better? Uh, I usually like to drive her up to the top of Hollywood Hills to a nice high point and look out over the city lights and talk and get to know her better. Sure, that sounds... Do you ever do anything a little more athletic than that? Do you like to go dancing, for example? I love to go dancing. Uh, it's really important that a, a girl knows how to move well and has mm -hmm. a great appreciation for music. I like everything from pop to reggae to hard rock and occasionally some Mozart for those nice evenings. Okay, well, great. I hope that, uh, I hope that we find someone like that for you on the show today. All right, gentlemen, good luck. I hope you have a good game today. And why don't I introduce you to today's eligible bachelorette. Her name is Sherry Bishop. Sherry, come on out. Hi, everyone. How are you? Good. Why don't you go ahead and sit down? Ooh, the audience loves you. Okay, Sherry, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm from a town of less than a thousand pe people, Horatio, uh -huh. Arkansas, and I am a college student at Central Canada College, uh -huh. and I would like to own my own clothing store someday. Well, great. great. You certainly dress beautifully, and, oh, uh, you. you know, we always talk about dating here on the show. What, uh, mm -hmm. What's the best way, do you think, for a guy to end a date? Not just to drop you off and leave you there. Yeah. But, you know, just... Especially not in front of your house. But, yeah, that's, that's good. But, you know, to walk you up to the door and maybe stay five or ten minutes on the porch and talk to you or go inside, you know, with your whole family and talk a little while. Well, that's always comfortable for the guy, Sherry, talking to that whole family. Well. You know? <laughs> hey, son, how are you? You like guns? I have some, Mac. there. You want to talk about that? Oh, sure thing, Mr. Bishop, yeah. Uh, do you... No, 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 no. Come on, it's happened to all of us. Do you, have any, do you have any dating rules, Sherry? Well, I like it when a guy does not care, smoke, drink, and I would like for them to go to church with me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's, I know, honestly. I mean, it's, it's very sweet. I like that. Do you like, let me ask you one quick. Do you like miniature golf? Yes. Super. Okay, we're all set. <laughs> now, you have in front of you all of the questions, right? You will pose those questions to each of the bachelors, mm -hmm. and then based on the quality of your answers, you're going to decide who to go out with, right? That's right. Okay, now take a deep breath and go get them. Okay. Bachelor number one. 
You can tell my parents raised me right because I never used cuss words. How will I be able to tell you that your parents raised you right? Well, you can tell that my parents raised me right because the way I dress, the friends that I keep, I don't cuss, I don't drink. Um, sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> Bachelor number two. Um, you can tell that my parents brought me up right by the way I treat people. Um, I spent a, a lot of time in my days just trying to make everybody stay happy and make them sp smile. Oh, well, that's sweet. Okay, number three, how can I tell that your parents raised you right? Um, you can tell my parents raised me right because I'm very much a gentleman. Um, uh, I don't cuss and, yeah, I don't drink either. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hear another big one, too. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Go get him, Jerry. Go get him. Okay. Bachelor number two. Yeah. I'll never forget my first date. The guy was geeky and his clothes were green. What really stands out in your mind about your first date? Well, I guess my first date was when I was kind of young. And we were, a bunch of my friends were there, like, spinning the bottles. And we were, like, sort of playing spin the bottle. You were playing spin the bottle? Well, it, well sort of. <laughs> and... Well, the point is, my friend that didn't have a date, every time it landed on him, he'd, like, just kiss his hand. I thought it was funny. Oh. Okay, I see. Um, number three, bachelor number three. Um, my first date, uh, what stands out is I drove, I drove the girl, I just got my license, and I drove the girl to the movies. After the movies, we went to a restaurant, and I didn't have enough money for both of us to eat, so I just told her I wasn't hungry. <laughs> and I just let her eat, and then well, I, that was uh, sweet. I took her home. That's good. Okay, number one, what stands out in your mind about your first date? Overall, that my parents had to drive me on my first date. Your parents <laughs> had to drive you? Well, yeah, I wasn't old enough to drive the car, and I wanted to go to the movies, so I called her up, asked her out, and we went. <laughs> How old were you? Geez, probably 13. Oh, my goodness. Just, Boy, you started out young, Just as an you? aside, how old was she? Twelve. Oh, okay. She was <laughs> Forty. I'm kind of hoping you wouldn't say thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number three. I think you'd be fun to have my picture on the cover of Seventeen magazine. If I saw your picture on the cover of a magazine, which one would it be and why? Um, I think it would be fun to have my picture on the front of... Uh, Fortune 500, because because then I'd obviously be one of the Fortune 500. Fortune would... 500? <laughs> what a magazine. <laughs> okay, number one? Probably Billboard magazine. And they'd be discussing uh, how well my album was doing on the charts. Oh, Bachelor number two. What magazine cover would you be on? I'd be on People magazine, obviously because I'm a person. But... <laughs> Bachelor number one, mm -hmm. people should never take each other for granted. What's something special about you that I'll never t ever want to take for granted? Um, I would say probably the, the feeling that you get from when we go out and the, the support that, you know, I can bring to whatever you're doing, like for a career. And you, you said you're interested in fashion? Yes. Yeah, and the connections and... You'd probably the people, the people in my life, you wouldn't take for granted. Okay. Um, bachelor number two. Um, you definitely wouldn't take um, advantage... Uh, excuse me, I messed up the question. Anyways, um, probably my personality and my kindness, because um, I really do make an impression on people every day, and um, you'd, you'd really be happy with me. Oh, okay. Bachelor number three, what is it about you that I'll never take for granted? Um, you probably never take for granted uh, how genuine of a person I am and honest and uh, what kind of what kind of car I'll be driving real soon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there it is, Sherry. You've heard all their answers to the four questions. And what we're going to make you do now, Sherry, is we're going to give you a couple minutes to think about this. Uh -huh. And then based on those great answers you got, you're going to have to decide who you're going to go out with, all right? So okay. take a minute, take a deep breath, think about it. We'll be back with more Dating Game right after this.
Don't forget to get your albums of dating game music. This will be out on Compact Disc soon. Welcome back to the dating game, everybody. Uh, Sherry, it's time now for the moment of truth. You have to decide who it's going to be. Is it going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? I guess bachelor number two. Bachelor number two. Oh, and the audience goes wild. Please, keep your seats. Please, keep your seats. Now, I have, to, I have to ask you why you chose number two. He just seems so sweet and everything. He seemed nice and like a gentleman. I think you're absolutely right. Well, let's meet the two gentlemen that you did not choose. Now, bachelor number one said he started dating at 13. His name is Clark Chuka. Clark, come on over and meet Sherry. Okay, Clark, just stay there. Just stay there. And let's meet the other gentleman you didn't choose, bachelor number three. Said he would never take uh, his car for granted, which I think is a very lovely sentiment. Preston Lee, come on over meet Sherry Bishop. Okay, well, now you've, you've seen the two guys you didn't choose. Are you optimistic about your choice now? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> well, these awfully good looking guys, awfully good looking guys. Gentlemen, thank you for playing our game. Hope to see you back here again. Take it easy, guys. Let's meet the gentleman that you finally settled on. They all gave great answers. Uh, and he looks like he's a little nervous over there, but we won't make him any more nervous. You said he, uh, you'd see his photo on People Magazine because he is indeed, happily for him, a person. His name's Teddy Luter. Teddy, come on over and meet Sherry. Oh, you both look very pleased, very pleased. Now... This is the part I love about the show most, because even I don't know where the trips are. I have in my hand my sweaty little mitt, three envelopes. And in each envelope is a great, great trip for you guys. Who's going to choose? Uh, you I can. guess I will. Okay. That one. This one. Number two. Number two. It's a theme with you today. Now just open that up and tell us where you're off to. All right. You can read it. New York City. <laughs> New York City! Charlie! Correct me if I'm wrong, but you just went to New York City. Why don't you tell us about it? Okay, Jeff, Sherry, and Teddy, you're off on a four-day trip to New York City. You'll fly from Los Angeles to New York via Continental Airlines' wide-body jets, featuring spacious seating, full-service meals, and complimentary snacks in the Pub in the Sky Lounge, furnished by Continental Airlines. You'll be the guests of World Yacht Cruises, savor the view and dine like royalty, while New York glides majestically past your window with music and dancing and all the magic of this famous Harbor, furnished by World Yacht Cruises. Gray Line of New York will host you to an overall view of the city with day tours and evening excursions focusing on Upper and Lower New York, the Statue of Liberty in Greenwich Village, furnished by Gray Line of New York. You and your dating game chaperone will stay at the beautiful Drake Hotel. Gracious Swiss hospitality prevails in an ambiance of intimacy and elegance, bringing the finer touches of European savoir faire to the heart of Manhattan. Furnished by the Drake Hotel, have a great time on your date to New York City. Thank you very much, Charlie O'Donnell. New York City, the Big Apple, one of my favorite places. Teddy, Sherry, you guys played a great game. Thank you very much. Thank I hope you. you guys have fun. Send us a postcard. Now, okay. go get your dating game autographed toothbrushes for that big trip to New York. Now, we sent a guy uh, and a girl off to Vienna. The girl said she had fe uh, covert female intuition. The guy said he didn't like to get drop kicked. What a strange couple. We'll be back to find out more about them right after this. I have to my left, you are right at home, Teddy and Sherry, you're off to New York City. Yeah. I hope you have a great time. Thanks for playing today. And I have to my right, Jerome and Al Vernet. Now, Jerome, I'm waiting. I want to be on the, uh, the album cover and I want to produce your world tour. Al Vernet, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. You're a lot of fun. And as always, we have this kind of fun five days a week on the all-new dating game. Join us next time. I'm Jeff McGregor. Bye-bye. Up today will receive Vaseline Intensive Care Moisturizing Foam Wrap. After you bathe, the softness lingers. Or it's picnic season, time for the crisp, crunchy, delicious flavor of all natural picnic old fashioned shoestring potatoes from SW. Or veg all, great tasting meals in minutes. Look for our seven vegetable beef stew recipe in this month's issue of Family Circle. For now, 
fast relief for gas pain and bloating. Gas X has the strongest, fastest, doctor-recommended ingredient for fast relief Gas X. Or now get a $3 rebate on Red Devil Polyurethane. It protects and beautifies all wood surfaces. Or new chewable fiberol laxative tablets. Good taste, no harsh chemicals. New fiberol laxative tablets. The laxative that's good for your health. If you're in the Los Angeles area, single and attractive, and you're interested in trying out for the all-new dating game, call us at area code 213-469-2662. That's 469-2662. Two of them.